news today. Ooh, I like that quote. Money doesn't change you, it simply exposes who you truly are. Well said, Emmanuel Acho. Okay. Who has the best wide receiver duo in the NFL? I think you've probably got it right already. Of course, Julio gives that a lot of weight because I think he's the best wide receiver in the league since Antonio Brown is not playing. Oh man, I want to see the Eagles wear these uniforms again. Those are so cool. Reminds me of Randall Cunningham in those days. Reggie White. They were so fun to watch. Russ could eventually get traded? Seattle reportedly discussed the possibility of trading Russell Wilson to the Browns. What? Report, Seahawks reportedly offered Russell Wilson for Brown's 2018 number one pick. Huh? Yeah, right. Via NBC Sports, Chris Sims. F idiot. I don't believe this bullshit. Let's look it up. A rumor that has been attributed to Chris Sims, a f***ing kidding me, picked up by Bleacher Report, suggested that the Seattle Seahawks attempted to trade future Hall of Fame quarterback. Hey, I love Russell Wilson, but is he a Hall of Famer yet? Um, to the Cleveland Browns for the top overall pick. And in the event they did, the plan was for the Seahawks to then take Baker Mayfield. One of the strangest rumors to come out in a while. It's difficult to believe, at least as it's currently being discussed. I don't, I, I don't believe that. Seattle had have to be the dumbest mother to try to do that unless unless wait wasn't that the year that was the year that russell was negotiating with them right or no 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 it was the year before but they knew the negotiation was about to take place was it a negotiation tactic well if it was it certainly failed wilson took them to the cleaners man so it couldn't have been that did they really i don't believe that they'd consider getting rid of russell wilson the argument for the seahawks point of view has to be entirely about the salary cap well that's always something to consider, but when you've got guys like, you know, Brady, Wilson, you know, Rodgers and Drew Brees and stuff, damn the salary cap. A theory that if a quarterback takes up too much of the salary cap, they can't win a Super Bowl. That's weird. We, we revisited that the other day. Much of this is the fault of Tom Brady for the New England Patriots taking less money. Oh, it's Tom's fault. Okay. Somehow, Tom guy gets blamed for this. All right, fine. Whatever. They were essentially starting over. So Pete Carroll wants to start over at his age? Bullshit. Wow, that's weird looking. Of course, I know that my friend uh, Addy Vasorno would love to see this. But first of all, if Seattle offered Russell Wilson to the Browns, we would have heard about this, right? Surely. Russell would have been pissed. But the biggest problem here is that if that was the case and they really offered Russell Wilson and the Browns declined... Wow, that is such a Browns thing to do. Can we get more than just a rumor here? Oh God, we're back to NBC Sports. Last week, Chris Sims unwittingly lit a slow burning fuse. Wait, per a source with knowledge of the situation, the Browns contend that the idea was floated conceptually, but that the discussion did indeed happen. At the time, the Seahawks were staring at another extension for Wilson, one that would result a year later in a placement of a no-trade clause, and the latest contract was indeed influenced by chatter regarding the potential trade to Cleveland, we're told. Um, no. Quarterbacks of that caliber put in no-trade clauses so they can dictate where they go so they don't end up like Brett Favre going to the New York Jets, for example. That said, some are close enough to the situation. Who? Who close enough to the situation? Believe that Wilson eventually will be traded. What the fuck? I, I, I just cannot buy this. I don't... NBC Sports' Chris Sims told Mike Florio, I heard a rumor from some people that I trusted a few years ago. Okay, so you guys ready for this? This statement from Chris Sims is from a few people that he trusted a few years ago. You know, there was a time that I wanted to aspire to be someone he trusted a few years ago because that sounds like a great career to be in. Of course, it's just made up shit. That Seattle called Cleveland when they had the number one pick. I never followed up, but I just know I had people tell me that that was something people were hearing. So all of this shit about Russell Wilson is based off of Chris Sims saying some people that I trusted a few years ago and I never followed up. I just know I had people tell me that was something people were hearing. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy gets paid to do this? Bullshit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. CBS reports Browns reportedly offered number one pick for Russell Wilson in 2018 trade talks with Seahawks. Huh. They at least entertained the possibility of trading the superstar. Or at least that's according to NBC Sports Chris Sims. So wait a minute. It went the other direction. Wait a minute. It's not hard to suggest this was a case of Cleveland 
taking a swing at Wilson rather than Seattle looking to unload its quarterback. Well, that makes more fucking sense, even with the lucrative contract looming at the time. But Florio said Thursday that some close to the situation still believe the Super Bowl winning signal caller will be traded. Hold up. Cody Benjamin. Okay, Cody Benjamin. Nice job. All right. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, actually. It's more funny. But it was the Browns, apparently, who offered the number one pick to Seattle. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that changes everything. That is a huge difference. Seattle taking a phone call about any player is completely normal. It is just business as usual. In fact, these teams get phone calls about their best players all the time. Hey, there's Brady Quinn. I haven't seen him in a while. I uh, saw him at a restaurant in West Hollywood a few years back. I always liked the guy. He seemed like a nice dude. But anyway, back to the point. It was the Browns who called Seattle. That That is a big difference, Chris Sims, you fucking retard. Guys, that is a major difference in reporting. Do you know how many Google links I had to go through to get this? Uh, what are we on now? Like, number, the... 15th link we found so far to say it was the other direction now this what cody benjamin here reported this makes more sense right it makes perfect sense but to say that the seahawks are the ones that sought out that's what chris sims was saying so it's actually the opposite what a prick boy he'll do anything to get into the news and i guess it worked so okay complete lie there you go completely different worthless report a jackass. Also, guys, if you want me to expand on any subjects that I do a video on during the week, every Saturday night I do a live show, 6 p.m. Eastern, and tune in there. Let me know. Just type it in the chat. That's all you got to do. Or let me know ahead of time, and I will go over that for you. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. And talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching Von Allen Sports. We hope you like and share the video. And to make sure you don't miss a thing, Click the subscribe button on the bell icon to be notified. Bon on Sports. Bon on Sports.